Hi neighbor, it's me, Thriftastic Mom. I wanted to do a thrift haul for you today. It's not a real big thrift haul, but it's a thrift haul. I went and just hit one store and then went to the Aldi's and picked up a few things there. And I got some good things that I really needed today. And I thought I would share it with you. Like I say, it's not a whole lot. It's like about five things, but it's things that I needed. Some of it I did. One thing I didn't need. The rest of it I kind of needed. Um, so let me show you what I got. And I did get something Christmas, of course, because that was one thing that I really needed. Last year, I used colored lights on my tree, so I'm going to go back with the white again this year. Um, but I had actually donated some of my lights, like a strand or two of my light, to my church when the lights went out on one of our trees there at church. And I haven't never picked any more up. So they had these um, 100 count miniature clear Christmas light. They're normally $3 a box. And uh, they're still new in the box. So I picked up two of them. It was the only two they had in the box like that. And they had them for $1.50 a box. So I thought I'd go ahead and get them. Just to replace the ones that I needed. They're still new in the box. And uh, just to replace the ones I needed. Hopefully when I bring them out, hopefully check them out, they work. <laughs> Um, so I got those for $1.50 a box, so I really got uh, two boxes for the price of, of one normally. And then I picked up these. Um, these were $2 for the set. I don't know how many's in it, but it's a pretty good uh, wad of light. And it says they work, because I know my son, when he, he works there on Saturdays, but he used to work there full time. They try to check out all of the stuff and make sure that it worked. And then they'll mark it and put their initials who checked it. So they put on here that they do work. So I give $2 for this bunch of white lights just because I need them. I like to have my tree full of lights, especially the white lights. Um, I probably need to actually get me a couple more colored lights because last year I had the colors on it and the colors are not as bright as the white so my tree was a lot dimmer than normal so I think the next time I use colored lights I will you know get some more and make it brighter normally I just put white lights on it but I've seen a technique on a couple videos where they put some lights like on the inside of the tree and make those flash or twinkle I really would like to get some twinkle lights but they cost more so I may just put some of these throughout my tree and have some blinking and some not you know it's according to whatever I like when I when I hook it together and see how how it looks sometimes I just leave it all white but I'm thinking of having a little bit of few flashing this year I'm not sure yet but either way I'll have plenty of lights next thing I have here is just a bag of ribbon and I thought these would work good for my pocket letters and things like that. I really haven't even really went through it or anything. I just seen it had a lot of nice ribbons in it. And I grabbed it. $1.50 for the whole bag. What can I get in it? It's got some cute ribbons in it though. And I figured I could use them for some crafts, you know. For $1.50. It's got... Oh, yeah. It has got all kinds. It's, I'm just going to kind of pull it out like that. It has got all kinds of ribbon. Different colors. I mean, it's just full of ribbons. Everywhere. All different colors. So that will definitely come in handy. In my crafting. Now, the last thing I got was a big big item and it was something I needed because I took out in my spare bedroom I took out the full bed I had in there and I put just a twin bed in there because the room's not that big and I didn't want a, a big bed in there so I just put a little twin in there just in case something happened where you know we might one of us might would have to go in there and sleep on it one night for cause the other person's sick or something you never know so I like to have some kind of bed in that room so I put a little twin in there just so it don't take up a lot of room. And I needed to get a comforter. I needed to get a sheet, you know, things like that for it because it's just sitting in there. 
not made up or anything right now. So, I came across this comforter. And it's Martha Stewart, Martha Essentials Comforter, twin size, reversible, Greenwich Paisley. And it's just a comforter. And it looks like it, I don't know if it has, it don't say that it has um, a sham with it. I'm not sure till I get in it. But still, I give seven bucks for it for the comforter. And I thought it was cute. It's paisley on one side and stripes on the other. And I like the lime and the pink and the fuchsia that's in that. There's a better view of it. So I give seven bucks for that. And it don't look like it's ever even been took out of the pack. So I'm going to put that on my bed. I thought that would be cute. I wasn't sure what color really I wanted to go with in there. But this will match the curtain I got in there. I got like a, a off-white curtain in there with some lace on it. And um, it's, it's got lime and pink. You know, I figured that would be perfect. It's more like my room anyway because that's where I do my crafting and stuff like that. So I figured lime and pink would be perfect. And I'll just kind of go with that and fix that room up a little bit and make it look as cute as it can I reckon. So I got that comforter for seven bucks. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I got to pick me up a sheet and I might put a couple of throw pillows or something on it just to make it look cute. I don't know. But anyway I got that also. So that's everything I got y'all. I told you it wasn't a very big thrift haul but sometimes that's the way it is. I only had time to really hit one store and uh, I got some things I needed. I needed the comforter and I needed some more lights. So that worked out great. I hope you enjoyed this little thrift store haul. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and leave me some comments below and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. That way you can become a new neighbor of mine. If you're already a neighbor of mine, I thank you so much. Thank you for watching my channel. I thank you for being subscribed to my channel and um, just uh, supporting me, supporting my channel the way you do. So, I'll see you later. Bye.